Hey, I'm here at uh, the Magic Origins pre-release in Toronto, Ontario. It's the start of the Pan Am Games as well, but you've made your decision. You're here. I know my priorities. <laughs> I'm here with Sebastian. Um, you came back. It's been a long time since you played Magic. What about Magic Origins was it that made you come back? You mostly, of course. That's the number one reason. But you know, it's a new set, new core set, or latest core set. That's going to be the final. All the characters that I actually recognize, all the random planeswalkers from the past few years. It's going to be exciting times. I'm here with nice guy Mike. Mike, you're here at the Magic Origins pre-release at 401 Games. What color did you choose? I chose red, Miles. I chose red. Why did you choose red? Although I already know the answer, because you always choose red. <laughs> I think that answer is obvious, Miles. So uh, Chandra is going to be your planeswalker. Uh, is there any other cards you hope to open today? Uh, really, it's, it's a selfish reason. I'm hoping uh, through blind luck I would pull a, a foil or a promo uh, goblin pile driver because I, I just really want one. So even if I don't use it in today's event, I'll be happy if I draw one. Or again, a foil Chandra would be nice too. Yeah. Hi, uh, what's your name? Hans. Hans, and you're playing uh, the M Magic Origins pre-release today. What color did you choose? Um, black. And did you? Liliana. Did you actually open Liliana? No, not really. Uh, what was the best card you opened today? Uh, the minus four, minus four um, sorcery spell. Languish? Yeah, 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 language, yeah. I'm actually asking uh, different players some Magic Origins questions today, and if you when you get a, you, there's there's some small prizes. Uh, do you, do you know the set well? No, not really. Not really. <laughs> we'll give it. A, we'll give it a shot. All right. Okay, so this one's uh, relevant to the color you chose. The first card spoiled from Magic Origins was Liliana, Heretical Healer. Yeah. When she transforms, she turns into Liliana, Defiant. What? Uh, Defiant. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Necromancer. Necromancer. Defiant Necromancer. Well, thanks for playing, Hans. All right. All right. So, what's your name? I'm Phil. Phil, uh, what color did you decide to go with at the Magic Origins pre-release today? I wanted to go with white, but uh, unfortunately they only had blue left, so I went with blue. Got some good pulls. So I what were some of your pulls? I had the promo Jace, and I pulled a Liliana as well. Promo Jace and a Liliana? Yeah. I'm losing, but I'm happy. <laughs> so I feel like we are doing this, but there, there's another contest. I have some Magic Origins questions, and you could you could make the day even better. That sounds good. Um, one of the most exciting reprints is Goblin Pile Driver, which gets plus two plus zero for each other goblin that's attacking, and it has protection from this color. Uh, the color is blue. Congratulations, you won a prize. <laughs> Great, thank you. Hey, uh, so what's your name? Andre. Andre, what color did you choose today? Uh, blue. Blue? Did you open Jace? Yes, I did. <laughs> I was actually uh, the second last person to get the, the pack, and uh, hey, I got Jace out of it. That has got to be the best card that you opened today. Yeah, yeah, no, that was, uh, that was definitely the best. What, what did you pair it with? What was the other color that you uh, that you built your seal pool with today? It was with red, so I went with the blue red uh, artifact theme. Did you get a lot of creatures that make thopters? Yeah, uh, well, like fair amount. I got about five five creatures that make thopters, which is pretty good. So I'm asking everybody some Magic Origins trivia today. Uh, do you know the set well? I went through some cards uh, briefly today and yesterday. <laughs> So uh, your question, I'm gonna. It's themed a little bit to uh, to what you're doing today. What are Chandra's parents' names? Uh, Pia, I think, and starts with the net. N. Somebody was playing that right beside me, and I can't remember. Well, Nalar is their last name. <laughs> so Mr. and Mrs. Nalar. <laughs> it's Kieran. Yeah. But you'll win a prize anyway. Thanks so much for playing. So, Mike, we're uh, checking in around two. How are things going? Uh, they're going okay, I guess. Uh, the first round, uh, I beat my opponent in two rounds, and then same thing happened to me. Uh, I was playing against this really 
really impressive, essentially a constructed elf deck, and yeah, it turns out, kids, you can play constructed elves in, in limited formats like pre-release. Tell me about your deck. Uh, I'm playing green-red, and uh, I picked red for my pre-release pack, and my promo was okay, it was the three and two red. Uh, I think Chandra's Ignition. Where you choose a creature and it deals damage to all other creatures and players equal to its power? Yeah, or oh, opponents, sorry, opponents, not you. So yeah, playing that and I do have a, I think Spirit of Zendikar or whatever where it's uh, power equal to the amount of lands you have in play. So that with that, that's not bad as a board wipe. But mostly like burn spells. I did get Chandra's Parents, which is a great card. The mini uh, Siege Gang Commander, if you will, so yeah. What are Chandra's parents' names? Uh, oh, um, Pia and Kieran, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well no prize. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian, you're getting comfortable here. Ah, uh, yes. With Miles, it's always comfortable around here. And uh, you should be comfortable. You're 2-0 so far. So far, so good. <laughs> I've had my, my luck streak. My weenies are paying off. And for the late game, I have some removals. It's working out pretty good. What's the best card in your deck today? So far, it was the... I forgot the name, but it's the green card. Four and two green to cast, and it's kind of a rampage. And they, all your creatures get plus three, plus three, and the opponent is forced to block. All creatures are forced to block. So in the worst case scenario, they're forced to make some trades. You know, usually my favor, but most of the case, it's a finisher. So I'll just overrun everything, and that should be the game. Hi there. Uh, what's your name? Steve. Steve, I see that you brought a, a flip and tray ultimate guard deck box. That's right. Um, I bought it because I watched uh, Tolarian Community College's review, and uh, I actually got back into the game because of uh, his videos, and you know, just wanted to upgrade some of my old stuff. So, uh, when was the last time you played Magic before today? Zendikar, back in undergrad, 2009, I want to say. And Magic Origins, you, you decided to uh, come back to this pre-release, it's a new jumping on point, is that right? Yeah, I just wanted to see uh, what's changed in the game and just play again. So I am asking a, a few trivia questions from Magic Origins. We'll see uh, We'll see if you can do it. If you get it right, you'll get a prize. How's that sound? So many cards in Magic Origins have a new mechanic called Renown. Can you tell me what Renown does? Uh, that's the one where you, if you attack through and hit the player, you get plus one, plus one on the counter, right? On a card. So renowned one, you would get a plus one, plus one. Right, yeah. Excellent, congratulations, you've won. Hi, so uh, what's your name? David Goodwin. David, uh, what color are you playing today? I'm playing red-black. And uh, how are you finding the deck? Uh, slow as molasses, not aggressive at all, but uh, it's got a few cards that uh, can trick up the opponent and I'm two and one, so I'm, I'm hanging in one more uh, round to go. So I am asking people Magic Origins trivia questions okay. um, today, and uh, if you get it right, you're going to get a prize. Awesome. What are Chandra's parents' names? <laughs> uh, I didn't get that card in my pool. I did see it on the spoilers. Uh, I, I, it's like one of them's got a funny short name like Pax or, or Dax or something, but uh, I, I really don't know the answer. It's Pia and Kieran. Pia and Kieran, all right. I would have also went with Mr. and Mrs. Millar. Uh, I didn't even know her last name. How's it going? Uh, what's your name? Sven. Sven, what color did you decide to go with today? I went with green. And did you get any exciting pulls? I did, I got a Gideon. Uh, so I am asking people uh, Magic Origins trivia questions today for possible prizes. Do you know this that well? I do. Okay, so one of the most talked about Magic Origins cards is the rare Priest of the Blood Rite. He is a 2-2 for 3-2 and two black, enters the battlefield with a 5-5 five five demon token, but he does have a drawback. What is that drawback? At your upkeep, you lose two life. Congratulations, Sven! You won prizes! <laughs> So I'm going to just do a quick deck tech of my sealed deck from the pre-release. So this is my only one drop, uh, Anointer of Champions, it's 1-1 uh, one, one for 1, and you tap it, target attacking creature gets plus 1 plus 1 till end of turn. I also had a 2 drop Topan Free Blade, this guy was really good, um, it's a 2 for 2-2, two, two, so Glory Seeker, but it has Vigilance, so it's already uh, strictly better than Grizzly Bears, and then it has Renown 1, which is quite good on a creature with Vigilance. Abbot of Carol Keep. Uh, this is a rare. It's two uh, for a 2 1 prowess, but when it comes into the battlefield, uh, exile the top card of your library until end of turn, you may play that card. Uh, so most of the time it's getting lands, especially in, in limited, which is pretty good. Um, you could run it out on, like, say, turn three uh, before you play your land, 
and then flip. Uh, if it's a land, great. If not, ah, uh, whatever. Play one of the lands from your hand, just as a 2-1 with prowess. Consul's Lieutenant. This card is amazing in this deck. Uh, I think it's gonna be pretty good uh, in other uh, limited formats as well, or other uh, draft and sealed. Uh, it's 2-1 first strike for two white, renown one. Whenever it attacks, if it's renowned, other attacking creatures you control get plus one, plus one talent of turn. I'm gonna show you why that was really good in this deck, um, but it, I can imagine it being pretty good in other Thopter decks, like a blue-white Thopter, red-white Thopter uh, decks, as well as uh, decks that have dragon fodder in it. Uh, one thing to note about creatures with renown uh, that I want to mention is you want to lead with your creatures that have renown because you want uh, them to have as many opportunities as possible to get in and become renown, which means you kind of want to play them uh, earlier in the game as opposed to later when the field gets a, a little bit more mucked up. Uh, so just one of those things I noted. Uh, speaking of dragon fodder, I had three of them. So you can imagine that Council's Lieutenant was pretty good with Triple Dragon Fodder. Another thing that was good with Triple Dragon Fodder, <laughs> Goblin Pile Driver. So happy to have pulled this guy. Uh, almost he pays for half of the, the pre-release for me. Um, and it's a creature that I really want to play in uh, standard if the deck is good enough. Hopefully it is. Uh, Thopter Engineer, 1-3 uh, three for 3. It's an uncommon. You can get a 1-1 one, one Thopter. Burger Brute, also pretty good. Uh, with the pile driver, even if you don't have the pile driver, just a 3 2 menace for 3 is, is pretty solid. Uh, Acro and Sur uh, Sergeant, uh, it's 3 mana for 2 2 first strike with Renown 1. The guys with Renown and first strike are really good because they want to be able to block them profitably, but if you have tricks, uh, you can almost guarantee that they're going to walk into your tricks with your Renown guys. I had two of these. War Oracle, I was also really happy with this card. It's a 3 3 with Renown 1 and uh, has lifelink for 4. Uh, Prickle Boar, I like this as well. Um, it's 3-3 three, three for 5, but as long as it's your turn, it is a 5-3 with First Strike. And Heavy Infantry, it's 5 mana for a 3-4. When it comes into play, you tap a creature and opponent controls. And uh, I'll show you a couple of cards that went well with that in a second. My only uh, non-removal, non-creature spell was Kithian's Tactics, and uh, I was playing it because I had all these tokens. Uh, it's also really good with uh, the Thopters. It's one and two white. Creatures you control get plus two plus seven until end of turn. Uh, if spell mastery, if there are two or more uh, instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard, those creatures also gain vigilance until end of turn. Um, I was, it was very easy for me to get um, spell mastery because I usually had at least one of these in the graveyard and that's basically a creature. So I didn't have to forego playing a creature for a turn to get a one sorcery or instant to the graveyard. Only played the one Celestial Flare. I think it's pretty good. Um, I had another one in the sideboard that I could board into, but unfortunately I lost my sideboard, so it was just this one. Turns out I didn't need another. Uh, Suppression Bonds. So this is Fate's Feathers without the gain four life when it comes into play, but it's a common. Enchanted on land permanent. Enchanted permanent can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. So I had three of those. Yeah because I picked white for the pre-release, so there was one in there and then I opened two others. They're common, this should be an uncommon. This is a very, very good spell. Uh, another one that I had was Swift Reckoning. It's destroy target tap creature, it's a sorcery for two, uh, but spell mastery, you can cast it as an instant, which is pretty devastating. I also had two of those. <laughs> and then of course, the I think one of the best removal spells in the format, uh, it's Ravaging Blaze, it's double red and X and it deals, it's an instant, deals X damage to target creature. If you have spell mastery, it also deals X damage to that creature's controller. And I had two of those. This card is nuts. Uh, even in an aggressive deck like mine, just I, if, if I happen to go late game, I dealt, once I killed a, a Vastwood Gorger and dealt eight damage to my opponent with one, with one spell. I had 10 mana, took eight damage, eight damage to the Gorger. Just, just nuts, what a blowout. Sebastian. Uh, we played four rounds, Magic Origins pre-release. You skipped the Pan Am games for it. Oh, worth it, so worth it. This is so much better. How did you do? I did okay, I went 3-1. Unfortunately, I lost once in the third round, so yeah, went in 2-1 and then yeah. But I was able to win the last one and get some packs. 
You had an interesting thing happen in the final round. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, so basically, I thought the logic was everyone's a split at this point, right? It's like, why not go for the guaranteed packs? I mean, why would you risk it? But the, my opponent said, oh, he's not interested in splitting. I'm like, okay. So we started playing. I won the first game. So I was like, I still offered him again. It's like, my offer still stands if you Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. So you won your get your first game and you still offered to split so he was down a game and you would give him a 50 50 even split exactly well basically we'll play for that one last pack yeah. but other than that yeah i'm like um, my offer still stands we can you know, play for fun and it will be great like we get three packs each guaranteed and the last one we'll play for but he said no and then of course that second game he won i got smashed so we went to our third game and then well, lo and behold i won again so like <laughs> he ends up with nothing for no reason at all i offered twice he said no Karma for him, packs for me. <laughs> to the winner goes the spoils, right? Jeez, look at all those packs. Yeah, it's not all my winnings, but still, man, look at all this. Look at all these packs. So what do you think? Uh, you haven't played Magic in like five years. You come back and you play Magic Origins pre-release. Is it easy to just jump right back in? Yeah, definitely, because basically the core of the mechanics don't really change, right? It's all about like... I think the most important thing in Magic is just curving out. You have to curve out. You cannot get greedy with all the bombs later on. Or for short time, basically you just curve out and you win the game. Slow and steady wins the game. So that was the event. That's how it went down. I ended up going three and one with a prize split with my final round opponent. We did uh, 12 packs for the winner, 10 packs for the loser. Um, it was a really, really close match, but uh, eventually he took it. His deck had double languish in it, and he had a Nyssa, um, and he had uh, just tons of amazing things, and he also built his deck very well, and he was a really good player. So 3-1, uh, Sebastian also 3-1, um, and we had a really good time. Uh, we, we did win some product, though. I'm gonna open one pack of Magic Origins on camera right now. Very exciting. Lots of cards I want for Cube, a video about that to come out shortly. Uh, Smash the Smithereens, this card's probably not $3 anymore. It's common. Alright, I'm not going to read them all. You guys know what the stuffs does. You guys like the stuffs? If you like the stuffs, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video and channel and everything. First uncommon is uh, Githapur Aethergrid. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, it's two and a red enchantment. Tap two untapped artifacts you control to deal one damage to hard creature or player. Gather the pact. It's two mana. Uh, reveal the top five cards your library. You may put a creature card from among them into your hand. Put the rest into the graveyard. Spell mastery. If there are two or more instant or sorceries in your graveyard, put up to two creatures among the revealed cards into your hand instead of one. Whoa! Consul's Lieutenant. We talked about this guy already. Pretty good. And a rare is obviously something amazing. Harbringer of Tides. I, har I, I like this guy a lot, actually. And I would consider putting this into cube, possibly just the noob cube, not the not my actual cube. But I think he's pretty good. Uh, two blue for a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, bounce a tapped creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. Um, and you can cast it as though it had flash if you pay two more. We also got a swamp and a topta. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, let me know how your pre-release went in the comments of the video. Bye, everyone.